Hello everyone and welcome to Bedpost Product Reviews, the show where I review fun sex toys with funny people. Today's funny person is Toronto comedian Kai Green. Hello. <laughs> and the product today is the Knuckle Fucker by Unicorn Collaborators. That's what it's called! <laughs> That's actually what it's called. I only found this out about 10 minutes ago, long after I used it, and I am delighted. <laughs> So, okay, we've got a little hand harness that yep. kind of fits just so over your knuckles. What did you think when I first gave you this toy? Well, I wasn't like, what? Because uh, I, I, I understand this, like I have a strap on at home, so I usually understand that when it comes to dildos and stuff, if there's a ring, a dick is to go through it. So, <laughs> uh, so, so that, this wasn't like confusing. Right. Um, also, I have had need to hold on to dildos before for different positions and stuff. Like strapping it on isn't always easy. Sometimes you get tired, yeah. um, especially if you're not uh, athletic. Um, which what some I'm people not. might call. Uh, um, so yeah, the thrusting motion can be very difficult. It's a lot of cardio. to sustain. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So uh, when you can't do that or you're you're tired, uh, <laughs> then then this is is great. Um, so I definitely understood the use of it. Amazing. Yeah. yeah, I was looking at it and actually not really understanding that it would have provide so much use. I was thinking it would more be a novelty product yeah. where, I, where I would get to do this funny yeah. punching okay. motion. Let's talk about this because we <laughs> we use we did try that we tried it three different ways. Okay, so we tried it this way, which is kind of like the position I would use if I were like finger fucking somebody. Yeah, um, um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, and then we tried this. Yeah, this punching motion, which I'm not going to lie, produced more comedy than it did orgasms. <laughs> it, it was very funny. <laughs> now, there's probably a less awkward person that could do better work with the punching. <laughs> with the punching. I like the punching. It didn't feel awkward to me. The, because it just you're gave... a less awkward human being. <laughs> that is why. That's the rub. Okay, um, gotcha, because gotcha. what you're seeing right now is basically what it looked like when I was when like, I did oh, this it. gives me so much leverage. Like, See, really that's hot. already I way sexier than what I'm doing. I look like I'm in karate class. <laughs> Anyway, so I also we also did this, which had a similar similar like in, impact to punching, but with different positions and stuff. I feel like this would also be very useful. Yeah, yeah, awesome. I just didn't have success with the punching. <laughs> for me, uh, I used it at work, so I do a little bit of sex work. So for me, I liked that my hands weren't all looby up in this dildo that I was using yep. on essentially a person that I am not fluid bonded with. So yep. it just provided me a little uh, distance from all the fluids and messiness that was happening. It was cleaner for me, gave me more leverage, uh, and I really enjoyed it for that specifically. That's yeah. So, okay, this is $55 on the Unicorn Collaborators yet Yetsy page. Etsy, Etsy page. Etsy. <laughs> um, what do you think about that price? Would you recommend people buy it and, and maybe what folks might enjoy a toy like this? Yeah, okay, so first of all, well made. So yeah. it's it's like real leather, it comes with an extra ring if you have less girth to work with. It's adjustable um, for how big your hands yeah, are. Uh, which for me with tiny tiny hands is great. Yeah. Um, I find that like if it's all about frequency of use with this toy. So for instance, if uh, you strap on a lot, um, but the reason you strap on is for the thrusting, you probably don't need this. Yeah. But if you do find yourself holding a dildo for whatever reason, either using it on yourself or your partner or several partners, um, and you find yourself doing that on a daily, weekly, monthly, uh, several times a month basis. Having claw thing where you have to hold yeah. on to the base of a That's right. dildo, it's different. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. you avoid the claw. Yes. Um, <laughs> Which, like, it gets the same thing done, but again in a much more Jurassic Park kind of <laughs> yeah. way. If you're into that, I mean, that could be... If you're into that, there is a porn out there with, with uh, pterodactyls. So, for sure. I, for sure. some people are. <laughs> However, I think if it's something that you use frequently in your play, then this is definitely something that will just, like, round out your kit a little bit. Yep. Give you a little bit more direction and control, steering, if you will. Um, <laughs> the hands are on this. Exactly. Uh, good angles, and I think it, it, just, it just gives you a little more to work with. However, if you only find yourself actually holding on to a dildo, like maybe once every two months or so, like this probably won't pay off for you. So I think it's really just about frequency of use. Yeah, for sure. Uh, for me, I mean, it is a versatile toy. You could use it for masturbation. Like the first thing that I thought, I was like, oh, for folks that don't have great mobility in their hands. 
it might be good for. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I tried that out actually with my friend Andrew Gerza, who right. has CP and not great mobility with his hands. Yeah. So uh, I, uh, once I could put this on for him, he could hold on to it so tightly, oh, like great. much better than he could just hold on to the end of a dildo. So, because this yeah. is awkward. It is, yeah. yeah. Even when you have mobility in your hand. Yeah. So imagine trying to do all these hand things uh, and not have great mobility. So it was good for that. Yeah, you could even use this with like one finger if you needed to. Yeah. Like there's a lot of lot of different use there. Yeah, and also I actually tried it for impact as well. Yeah. I did a little butt punching uh, with it. <laughs> Yeah, I have a bunch of I see you. You know. Uh, and you could do it like with the steel ring, which was interesting, or you could just put like a little rubber ring in there if you want something a little softer. And it kind of turned into like a little leather kind of boxing glove. It all comes back to that punch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It all comes is... back to that punch. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so thank you so much, Kaya, for reviewing this lovely product with me. Once again, the Knuckle Fucker by Unicorn Collaborators. You can get it on their Etsy page. The name. Just buy it to say the name out loud. <laughs> do, do that for yourself. <laughs> do it for yourself. Uh, thank you so much, Toronto comedian Kaya Green, everybody. Where can we follow you? I'm bad at the internet, so I don't know. Google me. I That's uh, garbage advice. Oh no. What have I done? Am I done? Oh, thank you so much, everyone who's been watching as well. We will be back next time with another fun sex toy and super funny person to review it with. So thank you so much. Bye! Oh! <laughs>